Are you aware of the miracle that has happened in Bangladesh over the last 30 years? I'll show you. Bangladesh is situated on the side of India, on the eastern side of India. Uh, the borders are marked here uh, with the yellow lines, uh, west, north and east. It's a relatively small country when it comes to size. But when I show you uh, the list of the population in the biggest countries, Bangladesh is on seventh place. It has 150 million people. It's bigger than Russia. And what is very special in Bangladesh is if I show you population density. That is, number of people per square kilometer. Then Bangladesh is on top of the big countries, 950 people per square kilometer. It's the most dense population of the big country. And I can show that in another way. Let me add a shape here to the map. Huh? Do you recognize it? This red area, it's the state of Florida in the United States. Bangladesh is smaller than Florida, but it has 150 million inhabitants. It is the same thing as if half the population of the United States would move down to Florida. So population is really an issue in Bangladesh. And when I was a student, my teacher said, population growth is so fast in Bangladesh, seven children per woman, and the religion and culture will make it impossible to stop it. That is what I heard. Were they right? Let me show you what happened. Uh, uh, this map shows the situation in the world when I went to school. It is from 1962. Eh? And it shows here children per woman. One, two, and up to seven or eight children per woman. That is population size. Big families, high up, and low families. And each bubble is a country. The size of the bubble is the population. And this axis down there, eh, that axis shows child death rate. On this side here, it's low child death rate. Here is 10%, 20%, and 30%. And you can see that the countries were divided into two groups. We call these one developing countries. They had more than five children per woman, and they had a child mortality that went from 10% to higher. And those ones over there, we called industrialized countries. They had less than four children per woman, and the child mortality was less than 10%. The color here show the continent. These were the Africans. They were all in the developing country group. So were the Arab countries, and so were most of the Asian countries. Down there, you can see Japan and Australia. And where, where is Bangladesh? Bangladesh is up here. So now we will look at only Bangladesh. What has happened? This is where Bangladesh was 1962. 6.7 children per woman, 24% of children die. I will fast forward and you will see what has happened. In the beginning, not much happened. But after the independence, there, 1972. Then it started to fall. Can you see how family size is falling? Can you see how child mortality is falling? And family size is going further down. And when we come to 2003, Bangladesh is on 2.9 children per woman. And they have a child mortality which is down to 6.9% per woman. And this is nothing more than a miracle. Here is the rest of the world today. I can show the same development as I just showed for Bangladesh. I can show for all countries of the world. And you see, there are other developing countries that has also been relatively successful. They have repeated in part what Bangladesh did. And where did this happen? Well, Bangladesh is mainly a rural area. This was not an effect of people getting modern moving to city. This happened. This big change happened in these rural villages when we zoom into rural Bangladesh. Look here, very typical villages. Here is the houses, eh? uh, the small river, the big river, the fields. Eh? It's an agricultural area. There are farmers. It's here in the villages that child health care has improved. There is no antibiotics, treatment of diarrhea, there is vaccines. There is access for families, for couples, to family planning, and women 
are more empowered now than they were in the past, you know. And there is better education and economy is growing. Bangladesh has improved and this you can see has reflected itself into this change from big size families, seven children, 25% dying, three children, only 7% dying. This change over 30 years I consider as nothing less than a miracle.